Hey, what is cool, ladies and gentlemen, niggas? It is your boy, Moon Monkey, coming at you with another episode of Banjo Kazooie up in this here, bitch. We feel comfortable right now. Last time we finished up Haunted Ghost Mansion, we saw a whole lot of ghost bitches in there. Ain't no live bitches up in that mansion. That mansion is no good. But we are not yet complete, even though I just said we were completed with it. We are not finished with Ghost Mansion. We still need to find honeycomb pieces. Also, we did meet a nigga called Cheeto who said if we enter in right feathers in treasure trove cove sandcastle that we will find something special so we're gonna try to do that right now so let's go to treasure trove cove right now and we're gonna try to make our way to that sandcastle um and i'm guessing once we enter in red feathers i don't know what's gonna happen maybe he will increase our feather capacity we'll, we'll see we'll see i'm not entirely sure if that will if that's what he was gonna do because i do remember in um um towards the end of banjo Kazooie, you're gonna find like this hidden area which gives you access to um hold on let's not shit some eggs let's save that for my nigga leaky who's gonna patch up the hole for us to enter into um the, the sand castle but yeah um i know like towards the end of the game there's like a place where you're able to increase your feathers and eggs before you do the final boss fight but who knows if this is what's gonna happen probably like a little subtle um fix for the time being but we'll see we'll see so let's shit in my nigga leaky now i never really did um follow all of cheetos like cheats and shit i just always just kept playing and shit but we'll see I never really messed around these shits, and if a thing like red feathers works, I wonder if blue eggs would work also, but let's see. We wanna fight this nigga. We wanna fight this rusty dusty nigga. Right here. Alright, so we fighting the crab. So let's go to crab, let's go to crab. Alright, we wanna set up our dukes. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Let's go. Bop, bop, bop. And he's on his back, so bop, bop, bop. And ground pound on the nigga belly. Oh, flip him over. And then ground pound on him. There we go. Alright, so now we want to spell out red feathers. Hold on, is there another E? Because I know for red feathers, there's like two E's in it. Nah, there's only one E, so it looks like we have to repeat it. Alright, I guess so. Alright, so... R... E... D... D's nuts... Red feathers, so we spell in now... F... And then we spell in now... T e... A, give me a T. Where the T at? Where the T at? H. There we go. And now where is the E? Then we go into R. And last but not least, S. Now what happens? Anything happens? Does anything happen to my feathers? Hello? Anything happening? Is anybody there? I just entered in red feathers. My nigga, hello? Um... All right, I guess we just say fuck it for now. I guess it's not working. I just entered in Red Feathers. It didn't work. I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to do. If you guys know what we're supposed to do, just hit me up in the comment section below. Maybe I didn't do the right procedure. I don't know if I didn't do it right, if I'm a dumbass and misspelled Red Feathers, but we'll definitely try this at a later date. I definitely thought it was just as simple as entering Red Feathers, so we find out, but we just gonna say fuck it for the time being. Um, I'll probably just look at a Wikipedia myself after this video, just so I know what the fuck we're supposed to do. But for the time being, we're just going to head to that haunted mansion real quick. And we're going to see how to get these, um, hold on, hold on, let's drop, drop off the vine. Where to get that honeycomb piece and where to find that Gruntilda switch. So let's make our way over there. Right the fuck now, nigga. Alright, so let's do this. And I think we about to start our next level here too. So definitely looking forward to starting the next level. This next level is definitely going to be where my deathless run pretty much will come into question because... There is some hard ass diggies. If you saw me struggling between Gobi's Valley and Haunted Mansion, my nigga, I'm definitely gonna struggle in this next level. <laughs> no mercy. No mercy, but we thugs in this shit. We've been struggling. Struggling makes a nigga stronger, and that's the fuck what's gonna happen. We a little stronger. I feel a little bit stronger, so let's see what the fuck we gonna do. All right, so let's make our way to the Haunted Mansion. We definitely want to take our time, though. I don't want to fall into this lava, because I believe the lava... The, pretty much lava is Oko, so... We don't want to be careless now. Let's be careful. So let's line it up. Hold up. Because I, I hate... I hate going over these, like, narrow passes ways, bruh. It's hella annoying. There we go. Let's go right in our talent trot mode. Because we all know Kazooie got that grip. Kazooie got that grip. 
<laughs> Kazooie got that grill. All right, so let's see. Or until the talk of shit. How bright they are, your stupid shorts. A target for my dumb cohorts. All right, whatever, nigga. Fuck you. My pants are stylish. All right, so we got a nigga guarding the door. Why you guarding the door, you dirty ass bitch? All right, hold up, nigga. I don't know who the fuck you think you is. Attacking? Attacking? Attacking, you dusty bitch. You respect me when I roll through the city with my woes. Fuck with me. All right, so let's see. Can we break this? No, actually, I think we actually have to come... We might have to come back here with the pumpkin to slide through that crack. All right, so we'll, we'll try that out. We'll try that out. That might be a little bit more useful, so let's do that. Because I don't think I've seen a painting for Rusty Bucket Bay, and I think... I'm beginning to think that Rusty Bucket Bay might be in that house right there, so we definitely gonna have to make use of our... um our pumpkin ability so let's actually head into haunted mansion so we have to head in here anyway because i don't think we can progress any further unless we actually head into that house so let's do that let's do that i do that i do that dance all right so um let me think where would be the best place for a honeycomb piece um actually i definitely think it might be where the haunted mansion is because we only were we only we saw that fly pad but there was no reason to reach that fly pad there was like a whole bunch of tall chairs but that was about it i'm pretty sure that there's something we we, we looked over that we didn't do with that um that fly pad that we definitely could have found at least a grunty switch i'm guessing the grunty switch will be in that church so let's actually oh we gotta break this again can we jump through the window oh thought i thought we could try to cheat the game slip right through the window but nah Anton Dodson is hot. He was on guard. He said, no, nobody climbing through these windows, nigga. Now, if the Grunty Switch isn't in the, the church, I'm guessing it might be somewhere in the mansion. Probably on the upper levels. Who knows? We probably might need to go on the vines again as a pumpkin and traverse all that shit to go back in the sewers. The Grunty Switch, well, I, don't, I doubt the Grunty Switch will be in the sewers because... We can't ground pound as a damn pumpkin, but maybe we might be able to transform and find a honeycomb piece at least in the sewers. I didn't really check it out because I remember last time we was on the verge of dying, so we might want to go back there. We broke the gate, we broke the gate. Now, hopefully the camera does not fuck with us. Because I do know that this wall definitely has a way of fucking with you. There we go, we good. That's all it takes, baby. I don't know why I keep calling this place a goddamn church. I mean, this place definitely re resembles a cemetery, if anything. I mean, this goddamn, there's a, there's fucking great tombstones and bodies strewn all about in the courtyard. This is no way this is a church. Definitely a cemetery. I don't know where I got church from. I don't know. Maybe it was the organ. <laughs> there we go. All right, now let's go to that fly pad. So I'm definitely thinking that that fly pad might just help a nigga out. Hold up, hold up. There we go. And let's backflip. Alright, this skeleton, I don't know why he tried to play bodyguard, but fuck you, nigga. Matter of fact, we could kill you with the, um, with the invincibility, but I ain't gonna waste it on you. Alright, so let's see. What could we do with this fly pad? Alright, so, ramming into the, um, the glass was not a good idea. That does not work. Um, where, where else could we go? I mean, what's over here? Is there anything over here? No fire. Alright, I guess all we can do is, I guess... Matter of fact, did we ever go straight up with the fly pad with with the um the wings? Let's see, let's go straight up. Straight up, straight up. Oh, look at this. I see some bats. I see a grunty switch. Hold up, niggas. Oh wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing, my nigga? What are you doing? Fall the fuck down. Fall the fuck down. There we go, there we go. Alright, so let's hit this grunty switch. There we go. Grunty switch. Alright, so let's put the chicky in her um grunty's eyes. So there we go. Now, is there anything else up in this place? I see a mumbo token, so let's... All right, we gotta do some... We gotta be pretty careful, because if we fuck this up, we fall into our death. Well, I don't know. We probably... We might be able to time... Ooh, a honeycomb piece right there. How the fuck do we land, though? How the fuck will we land? All right, hold up, hold up. There we go. Kill you. Give me your honeycomb piece. Let's backflip. Get this honeycomb piece. There we go. We looking good right now. All right, so... Is there a safe way to land in this bitch? Like, well, maybe we probably have to go to, like, the ends of this place and try to, like, land on the organ. We probably will take the less damage, the least amount of damage if we try to jump off of the organ. So, let's see. We gotta do some Assassin's Creed Ezio-type shit. Alright, let's go. 
All right, where the fuck we going? I can't see, nigga. Oh, we are we good? We good? We good? I couldn't even see. Like that shit was scary as fuck. Like I couldn't see shit. All right, but we good. We got our honeycomb piece, and we got the grunty switch. Good thing we definitely looked it around. It definitely felt kind of weird that we saw a um a fly pad, and there was nothing to do inside the church except fly around. I was like, wait, there's got to be something special. So good thing we had straight up. So that was that took a lot quicker, and all it took was a little bit of detective work. So we should be good. All right. So while we're here, we definitely want to head to my nigga Mumbo. I was afraid I actually had to kind of like cut right here and try to look on Wikipedia, try to see where the the switch and honeycomb notes is. But right now we saying fuck it. All right, so Mumbo, you gotta turn me into a goddamn pumpkin. So do that. Work your magic, baby. It's morphin' time, bitches. Banjo looking like he came straight out of Veggie Tales right now. Let's go. There we go. You looking like a straight jack o' lantern right now. All right, so let's actually make our way outside this level. All right, so let's find a way to the entrance. And other than that, yeah, I think we did pretty good for this level. Um, this level definitely was pretty annoying. I definitely was getting all types of fucked up, but that was pretty much just for like, I don't know. I don't know what was fucked. It, was, it wasn't really the platforming. I don't know. Something was messing me up. Like if it wasn't like misplacement of me getting reckless, it was just me trying to figure out how to do stuff and me getting the wrecked for doing so, but. All right, this tombstone is all up in my booty hole. You need to get the fuck off me, nigga. Get away from me, nigga. Shit. I'm trying to see what's down over here. I'm trying to see what's down over here. All right, can we do some more, some more, some more Assassin's Creed, some stealth? All right, let's see what's over here. Okay, there we go. So we can't go in this crack right here. There we go. And let's see what's over here. Oh, I see a coffin. I see some ghosts, and I see my nigga Mumbo. Ooh, all right. So let's see. Will Mumbo chase me back? Oh, so this looks like Mumbo's house outside of Grunty's player. So what will Mumbo do? All right, I think he, I think he'll transform me back. Hey, it looks like we transformed back. All right, not bad. All right, so look, we can actually kill this ghost. So what's good, ghost? Where you at? Invincibility, kill this nigga, and let's open up his coffin. There we go. Have you ever had sex with a pharaoh? What the pussy? The sarcophagus. Oh, okay. So now we raised the water levels a little higher. So now we can actually make it a little higher in that area. Because I didn't see any way to reach up there. I thought we could actually find some um, a ladder. Or not ladder. But yeah, some vine or something to climb. But looks like that's not the case. All right. So what is this? Can we open up these coffins? Don't look like it. Don't look like that. All right. So at least we were able to raise the water levels. Let me look around. Just looking around to see what we could find. Just so like Mumbo's, Mumbo's house looks pretty creepy though. All right, nigga, transform me back into a pumpkin so I can lead this bitch. And it looks like we can finally make some more progress. So let's make our way out of this place. All right, pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. Me get pot ready. Nope, we out, nigga. Bye, nigga. You ain't gonna catch me today. <laughs> that was a little Bill Cosby in that voice. You ain't gonna catch me today, nigga. See yo, get out of here. All right, I think if we press Z, we were able to transform back. Z? No, we can't. All right, so we just continue leaving this level till Mumbo's magic wears off. So let's do that. Let's do that. And we also want to pick up that grunty, um, that, um, that jiggy in grunty's eyes. So we could do that. Yo, why is she coming after all of my footwear and backpacks and shit? Like, leave my clothing alone. All right, so let's jump out of here. I definitely want to go back to my nigga Cheeto just to, like, clarify. But you know what? Forget it. Forget it. This nigga definitely cheating me out of some good shit. All right, where are we going? Is the camera going to fix itself? Matter of fact, I'm going to go to Cheeto. I'm going to go to Cheeto. I know it's probably going to... We're going to regret it, but I definitely want to do it. So I'm going to speed past all this shit so you guys don't see me taking my time all right so we done we done all right let's talk to my nigga cheeto cheeto where you at nigga there we go all right cheetos the spell book you have found magic cheats i have for you Hey, book. All right, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. All right, looks like it kind of reset it when I started over my game. All right, that's weird. All right, 
Well, sure do, bag lady. Come on, book boy. Give us these spells. All right, let's go. Only one spell Cheetah could tell entered the code Red Feathers. We did that. Red Feathers with an S. All right. Thanks, Mr. Cheeto. All right, hit him to layer other spell books. All right. All right, so it looks like all right, so it looks like it made a little chime right there. So maybe it's active now. Once we talk to Cheeto, I am not gonna make this trek to Cheeto every time you want to go activate that spell, but it is whatever. All right, where's that hole? Where the hole at? Where the hole at? So we can stick it in. All right, it's over here, I think. Yep. All right, so let's take it. To, let's take our time. Take our time. In a matter of fact, let me just cut right here for the sake of time. I'm gonna cut right here so we just show right up outside Treasure Trove Cove. So I'll be right back, my nigga. All right, my niggas, so I pretty much just made my way all the way back over to Treasure Cove, Treasure Trove Cove, so you know, niggas don't have to see me walk through all the layer with my woes. So let's actually try to enter in this code. So Red Feather, so R, E, oh, so now it's lighting up. It wasn't lighting up before, so R, E, D, um, then we got F, E, a T H and then E R S. All right, so what happens now? Okay, yeah. So it looks like they do enter in. It increases our our feathers. Um, t um, doubles it. So that's not bad. Feathers make me sick. Fly me to your butt. What? Oh, okay. But it's say fly me to your butt. Like nigga, what are you talking about? Let's actually try blue eggs, because if red feathers works, I wonder if um blue eggs would work. So let's actually leave the sandcastle, and let's try it again. Let's try it again. We trying out a whole lot of cheats, baby. We trying to cheat the system. All right, so let's try blue eggs. Oh, won't let us try blue eggs. We'll try red feathers. Yeah, it looks like we only enter red feathers, so we got to try to find the next Cheeto book to even enter in blue eggs, if that even is one. I want to find the nigga that does um extra golden feathers because we gonna need that invincibility. But that's pretty much it. We were finally able to activate the Cheeto thing. I don't know why he didn't let us do that. I think after I did the um the last episode, after I was in Cheeto's area, I didn't want to um, trek the whole way back through that narrow ass passageway. So I just kind of just like saved the game there, reset my um uh, my N64. And it looks like it didn't save me talking to him. So it looks like when I talked to him this time and actually walked that long ass way without resetting it, it looks like then it was able to register when I went to the sandcastle. But that that trek back was definitely treacherous. It was a lot worse because you definitely had to like move the camera and all over this shit. But it's whatever. It is whatever. But now we are making our way to motherfucking our new level right now. So let's do that. Um. Let's actually head there. Oh, we need to also pick up that um that jiggy in Gruntilda's eye. So let's do that. Let's do that. Want to get another jiggy? We can't go wrong there. I believe that's gonna be our eighth jiggy. I know there's um ten jiggies in the overall world. So let's try to catch that. Hold up, jump in the cauldron real quick. There we go. Now let's do some progress. I definitely want to at least try to get one or two jiggies in this new level before calling it an episode because this next uh, this next level oh my goodness like I mentioned before this level will destroy me like if there's anything that will end my deathless run it's definitely gonna be this next upcoming level so let's see how we do so we want to try to make our way to Gruntilda's face where is it where is it there we go it's over here I think I believe it's over here yeah it is I'm gonna jump on her hat all right. No matter of fact, I think we need a fly pad. Either that, or we could jump on her nose. There we go. I think we could jump on her nose. There we go. Jump on her nose, and then go in her eyes. So we either get a fly. No, don't cheat me. Do not cheat me. Oh, you dirty bitch. Why would you cheat me? All right, we're gonna try it again. I'm not gonna go to the fly pad. I don't think it's worth it. We could pretty much just double jump onto her nose and make it inside the eye. I think we just slipped up and fell right there. We slipped, fell, and bumped our motherfucking head. So we're gonna try it again. Run it back, run it back. All right, so we wanna double jump. There we go. And line up to Gruntilda's ugly ass face. So I think you wanna stand right here. There we go. All right, so we wanna jump forward and then fly on her nose. There we go. Jump, double jump. Don't cheat me. Why are you cheating me? I guess we have to fly. It's kind of weird. 
Like, I'm I'm going right in her eye, and it won't let me go. So it looks like we got to fly right up in that bitch. So we got to go right in that eye socket. So let's do that. That means you got to do that race shit. Why are you making shit complicated? Why you want to go and make shit so complicated? All right, so let's jump up, y'all. All right, we got the speed shoes. All we got to do is ground pound on you. There we go. And then let's run. Let's run. There we go. Let's take the camera angle. With a camera angle. Ooh, nigga trying to pelt me with snowballs. All right, we should be good. I think we made good time. I think you make a good time. There we go. Let's fly. There we go. Now we go right into this dirty bitch's eyes. So there we go. Where your dirty bitch eye socket is. There we go. I don't know why you wouldn't let me in here the first place. Like you forced me to fly into this eyeball. Wait, this. What the? He what nigga? What are you doing? Hello? What is happening right now? Does any? Is anyone making sense out of this shit? Is anybody making sense out of this shit? Some fuck- Some fuckery is going on right here, right now. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this bullshit. Alright, so let's backflip. And then let's actually jump up into the air. There we go. And let's actually hit the switch once more. There we go. Now let's actually run. I don't understand what's happening. Like, it wouldn't let me into her eye socket. Are we supposed to, like, beat bomb into it? Is there glass blocking it? I don't want... Well, we could probably risk it. I don't mind losing some HP. Just for safety purposes, so we're not flying all over the place again. But hey, it looks like we got 100 feathers. Alright, let's see. We want to beat bomb... Are we going to beat bomb? Oh, yeah, look... All right, so it looks like there was an eye... There's a, um, a hole in her eye. All right. I mean, a glass. We couldn't jump in there. All right. That was throwing me for a loop, because it looks like we could just go in there, but it wasn't letting me do so. That was a hella weird. Can we break this one, too? All right, looks like we have to beat bomb to break that one. I don't know if they're going to put anything in the eye, that eye socket, but when the time comes, we'll definitely break it. Um, Where are we going now? I think we have to head to the top over here. My next world is the hardest yet, and you will fail on that, I'll bet. Oh, she ain't joking. She knows where, we, she knows where we're going. Oh, my goodness. This level is annoying, bruh. <laughs> she knows. You know it's something hard when the when the, the villain of the game tells you it's hard. Alright, so, hold up. Are we in the right area? I think we have to go down here. Alright, so I think we have to head over here. But yeah, oh my goodness. This next level will destroy my death streak. So let's actually continue swimming up. There we go. Finally, we're actually, we rose the, um, the water level, so now we can actually reach the surface of this area. So let's jump on shore. All right, so let's actually scope out the area. Who knows, there might be some mumble tokens hidden about. All right, there's some eggs. I'm pretty sure there's a Cheeto that's going to give us blue eggs as a um a cheat. I mean, it almost, it almost makes sense if you're following the naming conventions. I mean, we got red feathers and we got blue eggs. All right, I just thought something was going to be on top of this pole. It makes sense to at least look. Nope, don't look like it. All right, so let's see. What's in this door right here? All right, looks like we can't open up this door. I'm, I'm guessing this might be the entrance to the door. Oh, you trifling. You trifling. You trifling. Who the fuck you think you is? I always wondered if you could jump inside this, but I guess you can't. All right, so let's also body bag you. There we go. Kill you off. You ain't gonna scare me, nigga. You ain't gonna scare me. All right, so let's actually backflip. Hold on, let's backflip over here. Let's back up a little closer to this. Backflip once again. There we go. Oh, another cauldron. All right, what cauldron is this? Is this the blue one? Yeah, so this one should lead right to the top of front art. So this should definitely help cut some time down with traversing for next episode. That's definitely welcome. All right, and I think we should go over here. And right, what's this going to take us to? Backflip. And we've got a little rare box. Oh, all right, this raises the water level a little higher. Okay. Okay. How high are you taking me, nigga? How high are you taking me? All right. Ooh, yellow feather. We'll gladly take that yellow feather. There we go. All right. So let's let's make sure we scope up the whole area. You never know. There might be some holes that we might be able to go inside of. A eh? some holes. All right. But I see one area over here, which definitely is going to help us out. So let's head over here. So let's jump inside this place. All right, so you see a honeycomb place. We ain't gonna mess with you, nigga. You good, you good. All right, let's see what's over here, though. 
All right, I see a gate. All right, that's interesting. Oh, it's getting kind of watery. Oh, okay, okay, let's go. We traverse it. All right. I'm guessing we're gonna get to the um the painting to access the new level. All right, is this a dead end? Don't make me go to a dead end. You niggas really gonna make me go to a dead end? All right. So let's backtrack. I guess we can't go this way. At least not yet. All right, so let's come this way. Hold up, what's happening? What's happening? There we go. It's always annoying trying to backtrack when swimming. And I think the controls are inverted when swimming as well. There we go. To the surface. There we go. Whew. All right. So that way is a dead end. We can't swim through there. Um, I'm guessing we can actually break through this. Can we? There we go. Okay. That was kind of deceptive. I thought we had to find like a gate or something, but it is whatever. All right. So let's actually access this area. So let's press Z. And now we have the name, which I believe is Rusty Bucket Bay. This level is some type of shit, my nigga. This level will destroy your self-esteem. <laughs> there's only like, I think there's like one part in particular that's definitely annoying. So once you do that, I think we should be out of the woods, but let's see. You know what? I said I was gonna actually start Rusty Bucket Bay in this video, but you know what? We're traversing throughout this whole um, layer, trying to find how to open up it. I think it's best that we actually properly start off Rusty Bucket Bay in the next episode. So this video was pretty much leading up to Rusty Bucket Bay. Um, but yeah, all right, niggas, like, comment, subscribe, and next time we'll be in the same exact motherfucking place doing the same exact motherfucking thing. And we're going to be with my girl Kazooie and Banjo, and we're going to be tearing up some ass in Rusty Bucket Bay. Well, maybe Rusty Bucket Bay will be tearing up our ass, but <laughs> we'll see in the next episode. We'll see.